So guys, I'm making my own version of tuna flakes. Uh, what is this? Uh, sisig. Alright. So very simple. There are like some stuff that I have to cook. The others I'm gonna put fresh. Like the garlic and the chili here and this chili also but that's so cooked but i'm gonna make this uh, really dry a little bit the tuna it doesn't have it's like uh doesn't have uh, oil or anything so basically ready for a sissy dish so i have here uh, tomato sauce i have the salt a bit of msg and black pepper and then here is the apple vinegar uh, later, then I have mayonnaise, which I'll have to put later. Sure, of course, I have the onion here. A part of it I'll have to cook, uh, but part I will have to pour in later fresh. So also the lime will be used later fresh, if ever. That is two uh, stainless containers, which I'm going to use later for two servings. Oh, the spicy seed. So there are two uh, uncooked. I'm gonna use them fresh later to put it on later, like a topping in the middle of the sisig. Okay. Now I'll have a, I'll have to cook with a little bit of olive oil. Here we go. Hmm. Olive oil is heating, guys. So it's gonna be fun. You know why? Because I've been looking for some. I really miss a sisig, but uh, since tuna can be also with, uh, because usually sisig is what pork. So I don't have the pork. I have here the alternative, which is the tuna, which is better, I think, uh, well, healthier. <laughs> Besides that, it's my first time to do this. I've been browsing, looking at different, different styles. So I noticed some of them, they use the vinegar. Some, they just use the lime. Uh, so I'm going to use the, the vinegar, I think, because it will taste better. But the lime I can use if you're about to eat the sisi. Fresh, right? All right, all right, all right. So we're heating the. What is this? We're heating the, the uh, olive oil, but I think it is done. So I can put in already. Oh, guys, it's killing me. So I think I'm use. I'm using a shorter. How do you call this thing? Ah, <laughs> okay, okay. I think this the this is the how do you call it the risk of cooking with your left hand on the other side so busy <laughs> so I'm gonna cut it like that so that it dries up hopefully <laughs> that's the thing I'm guessing but I'm I'm using my logical thinking when I cook always like that because if it's your first time like now then you don't really know how what's gonna happen next but you know. I've adjusted myself. If the texture, if the, I'm not getting the right texture, then I have to improvise. I think that's the way cooking is. Then have to, as long as the taste, you get the right taste and well, taste good. <laughs> Especially, most importantly, that is what is more, more, more important, right? So I'm gonna put it to plates and put on the rest. Okay. So while we're putting it to dry, I would like already to put the garlic. A little bit of it I will put uh, fresh because um, you need the taste. The oh my god! Trust me, guys. The the thing is getting into my hand. The oil must be on my phone too. <laughs> mm -hmm, the smell is getting better. Okay. Here we go. Let's finish all down. Finish and the, a bit of this one. So part of it I will put fresh, okay? So it would taste better, but the chili needs to put um, while cooking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Woo! Looks good, and then the salt. Uh-huh. Good. So I'm gonna put it to flakes, guys. Yes, of course, I'd like to put a little bit of uh, some of the soy sauce into it. And then the vinegar. I'll add up if needed. Not so much first. 
So all the paste is in there already until it dries up. I'd like it to dry up. Mmm, smells so good already. You know the vinegar, once you put it, just changes everything. The combination, the whole thing in this. Oh my god, you can imagine once you put in the... So I'm gonna mix everything here in this pan and divide it later. as everything is cooked. I think uh, I have a feeling that I'll continue to improvise if I have to mix everything already. I will put on the, how do you call that? The mayonnaise already later, but the latest part, okay? So the only thing that I'm not gonna put in is the lemon. Hmm, a bit more of the vinegar because it makes it really taste good. It's a uh, apple cider vin vinegar, so it has quite a just light vinegar taste, so better. So I still have to put this one, the long chili. Oh my god, it hit my head. <laughs> Guys, I told you, cooking with uh, one arm on pan, this is always your fault. But you, I mean, like, I'm not gonna say it's painful now because it needs to get cooked. <laughs> And I have to put the camera a bit close. So I'm gonna put it to dry a little bit more, okay? So it's almost dry. I'm gonna put in the mayonnaise. It's cooked already, guys. I'm gonna put in the mayonnaise and the fresh onion, which are, I, I need my other hand for that. The mayonnaise is in. I have mixed it already, guys. I can smell it. Oh, it tastes so good, I cannot wait. So I'm gonna put it into two servings and put on a fresh, uh, what is this? fresh uh, or I think I can do it here while the what is this let's see <laughs> whatever is the right thing to do and put on the what is this the egg two small eggs right so it's already cooked right away actually <laughs> that's it guys so I have this uh, I made two the other one is still um, I just uh, put on the egg, still, uh, what do you call that, without heating it, so it's actually cooking with the heat from this small pan, and then if you're gonna eat this, which I'm going to make two servings, you just have to scramble it all together, oh my goodness, I'm so excited to eat, 32 guys still boiling a little bit, you see, uh -huh. perfect!